What's up, guys? It's your boy Echo Zero Three Six. Um, went to um, the art sales. I was talking about in my last video. Um, over at this place called Trophy Club. It's um, it's a pretty wealthy area. Um, really small little community, and they only they're only allowed yard sales twice a year. I guess one in the spring, one in the fall. So this is their second installment. Um, if I'd have known about these, I would have gone <laughs> when the spring. So, but my mom had told me about it. So. It was me, uh, my mom, my sister, and uh, my wife. So um, all of us just got in the car. And we um, we took off from here like at 6:30. Um, got there um, like 7, 7:15. Um, so trying to get a jump on things, but there was already a lot of people there. I mean, I guess everyone like knows about this. So there was there was a lot of Mexican people, and the traffic was just crazy because people were just trying to you know cruise around. Um, some people already had their yard sales set up, so, um, people just were stopping like crazy, and there was like a line of cars, and there's like one yard sale here, another one here, another one here, so you could just walk to all the different yard sales, and, um, which was pretty cool, because, I mean, you don't have to, um, go drive around looking for them, so, I mean, you just turn the corner, there's another yard sale, um, I did find some stuff, um, we we avoided the um, the entrance because there was a lot of people there stopping at the the beginning yard sale so we just skipped it and went all the way to the back um, so we can get a jump on things and have some you know see some people set up some things so I mean I did find some stuff um, which is pretty cool because I never have really good luck with yard sales but you know after that thing thing you know I changed my mind about yard sales you know temporarily but you know so here we go. Classic baseball. Got this for a dollar, which is pretty cool. It's made by Mattel, and um, you know, lights up and everything. Um, I like what it says. If the game malfunctions, try fresh batteries. That means um, uh, it's not our fault. It's your fault if the game doesn't work. So, <laughs> thought that was pretty cool for a dollar. I mean, I, I couldn't turn it away. Um, these aren't game related, but hey. Got these three for 25 cents each. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. I like collecting these. Um, the different covers, um, like A New Hope, um, The Empire Strikes Back, and uh, Return of the Jedi. I like, I like, you know, they're in really good condition. I've seen these at thrift stores, but not in this condition, um, where they're really nicely, um, nicely kept. So I couldn't turn, I couldn't turn these away. Um, so. I also bought a, like a VCR for like three bucks. Um, some guy was um, was trying to sell it for five dollars, and I kind of picked it up and I put it back. And he's like, "Oh, come on, you know, just take it." And I was like, "And he was like, um, he was like, uh, give me three dollars for it." And I'm like, "Okay, three dollars." So um, I still like watching some of these movies on VHS. So um, there's still some movies that I do have. Um, so it's pretty cool to pick these up. Of course, I had to find Tekken for the PlayStation, um, you know, long box. I think this this looks like the um, the first run of the game, um, the first time it was actually released because you can tell by the copy of the of the disc and the way the writing is on the back, it just really just plain. Um, so so I mean I you know I haven't bought it on eBay. I'm still satisfied with this uh, with finding this um, for four dollars. I mean, I, you know, I had to pick it up. So, got Tekken. I got Micro Machines, which I think this is the UK version because on here it has written one of the base race, best race games in the UK. Um, here's what some of the UK magazines say about Micro Machines. So, and, and then the, um, here's the UK number one bestseller. So hopefully it works on my Sega Genesis. Um, it was 50 cents, as you can see right there, 50 cents, so, the, the, the disc is, you know, kind of weird, um, but it's in excellent shape, I mean, no one ever even played this, I mean, it was crazy, I just saw it there and I was like, I had 50 cents on me, so, you know, Micro Machines, boxed, and, just show y'all, I got all this for five dollars, keep that in mind, this whole shoe box for five dollars. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. NHL '96. You know, good copy. Um, 
I heard this was really fun um, NHL game. So um, it says right here the best sports simulation ever. So <laughs> I'm gonna try it out, and play it, play against some friends. Um, NFL Quarterback Club '96, which um, is pretty cool. Um, has a manual in there and everything. So pretty cool. It has a three-button Genesis controller. It has a six-button Genesis controller. And a Sega CDX. That's right, a CDX. Um, a Genesis CDX. Um, this one, um, like I said, it was five dollars um, at first. Um, I, I, we drove up and I started, I saw the games on top of the box and I kind of started kind of digging on the bottom and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> when I saw this underneath everything and, um, the guy originally, um, I asked him, I go, how, how much for the whole box and I kind of try to keep this at the bottom and, um, he asked his wife and his wife's like, $20 and so I'm like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to try and hustle him down to 15 and then, um, and then, and then the wife says, Oh no, hold on it. Is he talking about the PlayStation? Because they had a PlayStation there with some games. And he said, no, he's talking about the um, the Genesis, the Sega. And um, and she said, oh, she was, that's $5. So <laughs> I was even more relieved. I was like, oh, wow. So I heard and paid him. So I, you know, before they changed their mind on it. But yeah, I mean, this is like the best thing I found at the yard sale um, so far. So um, it was really, it was, I got really excited to find this. Um, you know, let alone, you know, considering it was a yard sale. So that's what I said. I, I'm probably, you know, changed my mind on yard sales, you know. Uh, but uh, after that, um, let's see. I got the, the power cord with it. And I also got the um, the AV cords with it, too. So it all it, it was all complete. And it also came with... Echo the Dolphin, and some um, game called Radical Rex, um, Shred Prehistoric Pavement. Uh, probably one of those um, one of those characters they tried to develop to, um, you know, to appeal to, to little kids. Um, but Echo the Dolphin, and then um, Sonic CD came with it too. So, Sonic CD, I'm going to play this. Um, I've always wanted to play this game, so... Came with that Radical Rex um, structure manual, Sonic CD structure manual, and the actual manual for the CDX, which I was surprised that they even had it. So, I had this stored away somewhere, and they dug it out. One of their sons I had it, went off to college. Kind of like what happened to me. So now, you know, kind of giving a little payback there, but. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is what I found. Um, that's pretty much all I found after that. Um, we, I mean, we, you know, went to that was like the first thing I found. And after that, we just kind of went to different yard sales and there, um, little things here and there like the Tekken game and the Micro Machines game. After that, I mean, we we're driving around and it was just, I didn't find anything. I mean, I just the point where I would just drive by and I would just, eh, I would kind of look over and kind of see, but that can be deceiving because a lot of times they would have um, VCRs and answering machines on, on, on a table and you're looking over you're like oh that might be a console so you pull over and you go over there and it's like answer machines and VCRs and stuff you don't you don't really want so um, so yeah that was, that was pretty uh, pretty disappointing after that but I mean it was a pretty good day um, hopefully I go out to the flea market this um, this Saturday so I can you know see what else I can find but um, that's it for, it for now guys um, you know y'all take care and you know Keep on fighting the good fight. Peace.